Alrighty YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you a program I found to multi-box World of Warcraft with. Um, some of you may be asking, well can you get banned? The answer to that question is absolutely not. This is not a third party program, this is a program designed to broadcast whatever key you are pushing on your keyboard to whatever appliance program you want. From multiple email messages to be exact. Say you're typing an email to the same person, but you have to send it out to multiple people and you don't have their email address so you just type it in and it goes to another program or we use it here on World of Warcraft where whatever you hit will broadcast to the other screen I'm going to be showing you that today and I will have a link in the description on a video on how to get the program you need for free it is a paid program and no you will get in trouble for getting it for free okay so the program we're going to be using is called Key Clone version 1.9 and what you want to do at the beginning is you want to log in to the World of Warcraft accounts you want to multi-box I believe you can have up to five I'm only going to use two for this tutorial because I'm capturing at 30 frames per second and the capture rate is gonna lag and bog down okay so what we want to do first is log in to both accounts as you can see I have both accounts here Swifty and Hotted after the YouTube people, Swifty and Hotted. Uh, this is the private server, not a paid server. Paid, so some of you guys are going to be like, "Well, you can get banned on the retailer." Like I already said, it's legit. You can look it up. You can ask a GM. Go ahead and ask. It's called multi-boxing. You can do multi-boxing without a program, just by hitting Alt Tab to bring this little screen up on the screen, and you could switch in between whatever you want. But for this demonstration, I'm going to be using Key Clone. So what you do after you log into both of your accounts is you're going to want to load up Key Clone. For the very first time of loading Key Clone, it will ask for serial. This is going to be in the description box, different video. I'm not going to go through that now. So here you get this. You just want to hit close. Okay, so you have this screen here. What you want to do is you want to load both the programs into this program. So you want to click add, click on the screen add click on the screen so now I successfully have both accounts in key clone and you can demonstrate that by jumping well she's not gonna jump because she's on a horse you can demonstrate that by jumping or saying hi as you'll see over here okay, slash s Some keys will go and some keys won't go. You can set that up in the setup of which keys you want to broadcast, which keys you don't want to broadcast. For this demonstration, I'm just going to do that. Okay. And you can say hi and it types over there. Or GE and it types over there. As you can see, I'm clearly on this box. If you don't believe me, there you go. Well, for. That's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and show you like some macros that I have set up for this. I have a warrior priest. And what I like to do for my warrior is have a macro set up for buffing and attacking. So this is my attack route. I do battle shot, then I charge, then thunder clamp, clap to keep the aggro on me. Then after that rotation, while I'm doing that, mind ya, on my warrior, my priest is in follow mode and he will be doing his buffs he'll be giving me power word fortune power word shield and renew and after I've done the thunderclap over here I start with heroic strike which is number two which starts my priest attacks which is targeting my my warrior which is swifty then he's gonna assist swifty whatever I'm targeting over here and his cast is going to be uh, Divine Plunge, Shadow Word Pain, and Mind Blast. And by the time I'm done clicking 2 on all that, they're, they're dead. <laughs> this is going to be a little tougher when I get to 80, 85, but I'll figure it out. There's also an add-on that I highly recommend. It's called Jamba, 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 whatever it's called. And here you could do multiple things for this demonstration. I'm going to maximize my screen so you could see what I'm talking about. Uh, give it a take, a few takes. It's gonna, yeah, come on, come on. There you go. 
Okay. So in this genre, you could set up a team, and what you want to do is have everybody invited. I'm not really going to go through how to do this, because it's pretty complicated. Invite everybody here. I, you can obviously see I don't. Um, you could do things like quest. Your, um, say my Swifty is my main account. Hotted is my second account. Anything Swifty does with a quest, taking a quest, accepting a quest, Hotted will do the same. Turning in a quest, accepting a quest, taking the item. Um, you could do chat to have your bot tune ta or your follower chat, combat, a merchant, item use, trade, you could sell stuff on your other account or on your yeah, other account. You can have a taxi, let me find taxi uh That's follow. See I have follow auto follow after combat. So I don't have to keep hitting three, which resets my. If I hit three here, as you'll see, they both mount up, and she's on follow. And um, let's see if I can find that taxi, because that is very handy. Handy dandy. Here it is under tune. Under tune, you'll have tune warnings. Warn if uh, if first in combat, or uh, yeah, you could read. Taxi. This is for if I take a flight path, my bot will take the same exact flight path as I did. You don't even have to go over there and click the flight path guy. She'll be there, click it, and go. Which is pretty neat. So yeah, that's pretty all for the tutorial of Key Clone version 1.9i. Um, I'll have a, another video, like I said, in the description. It'll actually be on the video itself. You can just click on it and go over there. And it'll show you how to get Key, ah, key Clone version 1.9 for free. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and other video is right around the corner.